Introduction I think I have kept my science book in this room, but it is very dark inside. I cannot see. Simran, can you please switch on the light? But where is the switchboard? Take the help of this torch. Here it is. There are your books. It's so difficult to locate anything without light. Absolutely right, Tina. Let's study light and explore some interesting facts about it. Yeah, why not? Come children, let's learn about an energy that is all around us. Light. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Define light List the sources of light Explain the path of light Describe reflection of light Explain real and virtual image Discuss spherical mirrors and their uses Discuss types of lenses and their uses What is light? Light is a form of energy which is detected by human eye. It is everywhere around us. It not only helps us to see things, but it is also needed by plants to produce food for us. Sources of Light Can you tell where does light come from? Light comes from many sources like sun, stars, fire, candle, an electric light bulb, etc. But wait, not all things that shine are light sources. Moon is not a natural source of light. It does not have its own light. It only reflects the light of sun falling on its surface and then hits the earth, due to which it appears shiny when seen from earth. Path of Light Have you ever noticed the headlamps of a car giving straight beams of light? Come. Let us try an activity to find out the path of light. Take a lighted candle and a straight pipe. Now look at the lighted candle through that straight pipe. You can easily see the candle from that pipe. Now take a bent pipe and look at the candle through it. Are you able to see the candle's flame through it? Hmm, probably not. So, now you know that light travels along straight lines. Reflection of light. Can you tell how do we see objects? Well, we see objects when light reflected from them reaches our eyes. Well, reflection of light is a simple phenomenon. According to the law of reflection, when the ray of light strikes the plane surface, it turns in the same medium with change in angle. It's no surprise that when we look in a mirror, we see an image of ourselves reflected back. Well, mirror is an object that reflects light. Now look at this shiny stainless steel plate. When a light falls on its surface, it gets reflected. Therefore, any polished or shiny surface can act as a mirror and can change the direction of light. Have you ever seen reflections in water? Can you tell how we able to see them? Well, the surface of water also acts like a mirror and change the direction of water. Therefore, we are able to see reflections in water as well. Image and Object Take a plane mirror and place a pencil in front of it. The pencil which appears behind the mirror is called an image and the pencil itself is called an object. What happens if we place the pencil at different positions in front of the mirror? Well, the image will remain behind the mirror such an image is called erect. Therefore, an image formed by a plane mirror is erect and of the same size of the object. Real and Virtual Image Let us discuss what are real and virtual images. Images which can be formed on a screen are real. For example, images formed on a cinema screen are real. Whereas images which cannot be obtained on a screen are called virtual. For example, Image of our face in a plane mirror is virtual. Self-assessment. Let's check what we have learned so far. Drag and drop the correct option into its respective place. Spherical mirrors. Spherical mirrors have curved reflecting surfaces and are also called curved mirrors. 
There are two kinds of spherical mirrors, namely concave mirror and convex mirror. Concave mirrors are mirrors that curve inward in the middle, whereas convex mirrors are mirrors that curve outward in the middle. Let us see an example. Concave mirrors reflect light from their inner surface, like the inside of a spoon. Convex mirrors reflect light from their outer surface, like the outside of a spoon. Hence, the inner surface of a spoon acts like a concave mirror, while its outer surface acts like a convex mirror. Uses of Spherical Mirrors Let's see uses of concave mirror. Concave mirrors are used by dentists to obtain a magnified image of the teeth. They are also used as reflectors of torches and headlights of cars and scooters. Similarly, convex mirrors are also used as rear-view mirrors in cars and on motorcycles to help the drivers to see the traffic behind them. Lens and its types A lens is a transparent material through which light can pass. Lenses are widely used in spectacles, telescopes, microscopes and cameras. There are two types of lenses, concave and convex. Concave lenses are thinner in the middle than at the edges, whereas convex lenses are thicker in the middle than at the edges. We must have used a magnifying glass to observe the body parts of an insect or must have used it to read small prints. Have you observed its shape? Well, it is convex. Hence, convex lens is used as a magnifying glass. Summary let us summarize what we have learned. Light is a form of energy which is detected by human eye. Sun, stars, fire, candle and an electric light bulb are the sources of light. Light travels along straight lines. According to the law of reflection, when the ray of light strikes the plane surface, it returns in the same medium with change in angle. Any polished or shiny surface can act as a mirror and can change direction of light. Images which can be formed on a screen are real, whereas images which cannot be obtained on a screen are called virtual. Concave mirrors are mirrors that curve inward in the middle, whereas convex mirrors are mirrors that curve outward in the middle. Concave lenses are thinner in the middle than at the edges, whereas convex lenses are thicker in the middle than at the edges.